Hey, what up YouTube? This is Mr. Nor14 and today we're going to talk about smart devices. Everything is becoming a smart device. We are on this kick called the Internet of Things. We want the Internet and everything to work together and we want everything to work smartly. So again, the new kick for the world is smart devices. And I want to ask you, Man, have we gone a little too far with these smart devices? Okay, okay, case in point. I was reading on the internet and a company called Ladella has just announced the first smart candle. Yes, people, the first smart candle. Yes, again, a candle you can light with a phone app. Not only can you light it, with a phone app it has other uses like for instance it will shut off if an animal or a person gets too close to the flame it also will shut off if hot wax drips onto furniture or something like that or poses a burn risk okay that's all nice and dandy. I mean, you probably need to recharge it every six months, you know, five to six months. And it's really only, you know, you're really only using the battery when you actually light the candle. So it might last longer than that. And because it's a smart device, it has a phone app that lets you know when the battery needs charging. But the price is ridiculous. Now, candles are expensive. Candles are expensive. If you're a candle nut, you know that you can go places and pay a lot of money for a candle or you can go to places and pay a little for a candle. Now, you can go to the dollar store. If they got a candle, you can get it for a dollar. But it's some places that you literally will spend $50, $60 for. Well, this candle's price tag, if not more, this candle's price tag is $99. And... If you pre-order it, you'll get it for $99. If you wait till it comes out early next year, you're going to have to pay $150 for this candle. You know, I'm like, this is ridiculous. You know, and it uses actual fire. You know, it's got a wick and everything, and it lights itself up, and it has refills. You know, so like I said, not even that when you try to refill it, it's going to cost you almost $20 a pop, you know, just to refill it, you know, so you can see a real uh, flame. You know, to me, you know, just do it old school. Everybody got a lighter to start the grill. Everybody got a match. You know, we all have stoves. Roll that toilet paper up and light that candle, baby. I don't do not understand why I need an app on my phone to light a candle. But, like I said, that's the way things going. A new smart, everything is smart. Now, another thing I was reading, and it just makes me think, yeah, things have gone a little bit too far. Nike is coming out, okay, in November. Or, well, let me see here. They're coming out in November with this brand new shoe that is supposed to tie its own laces. Yes, people, tie its own laces. Yes, yeah, I know you guys are going back to Back to the Future too. Well, yes, when Michael Fox walked out of the car, stepped out of the car, and his shoes tied its own laces. Yeah, yeah, that sounds pretty cool, don't it? It does, don't it? Okay, no, it doesn't. That's just lazy. If you can't tie your own shoes, something wrong with you. That's, again, just lazy. OK, I mean, I thought it was cool and back to the future, just like everybody growing up. You know, I was amazed at the flying car and all that other stuff and just going back to the future. OK, man. But I got to think about this, man. You know, go to Nike. Check out these new sneakers. I mean, they say when you put your foot in it, the heel notices your pressure. And so it will gradually tighten onto your feet and it has pressure sensors to 
to know if it's you know really too tight on your feet and it's got all kinds of LEDs and light indicators and stuff like that and you know what while I was in the city of Shy, I, I saw a grown man in a pair of shoes that lit up and let me tell you no grown man should be in shoes that light up if you're not below the age of 12 I'm even going to step further and say, if you are not below the age of 10, you should not be wearing shoes that glow. Okay? Because <laughs> when I was up in shy, I seen this grown man, and I was like, I wanted to laugh in his face, but because he's a man, and all men deserve respect, I turned my head and laughed at him anyway. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, I'm just saying, man, I, this shoe is just too ridiculous you know I remember when I was in kindergarten and that was part of the lesson to learn how to tie your shoe you should learn how to tie your shoe before you got to kindergarten but I'm just saying when I was little they gave us a little piece of cardboard and we were supposed to tie the laces of the cardboard you know and so that's how I learned how to tie my shoe and I just want to say that this is lazy there'll be no reason for any child to not learn how to tie their shoe but I'm going to get back on this Nike prototype. You know, it's got lights on it and sensors and it's got all these gadgets and you should hear the creator. He's just so happy about what he created. He stole the idea from back in the future. He didn't create nothing. He just stole an idea. Now he's trying to make it look like it's his. But anyway, it, the shoes look kind of crazy. They got some kind of mesh foam or some kind of design over the Nike symbol and you can literally push the sides of the shoe to make the laces tie tighter if you need them to. Now the sad part about this is that with most of these smart devices you have to charge them. You know, what if you out on the town and all of a sudden your shoes run out of power? I mean, can you not get the shoes off your feet? Do they just loosen and be like, hey, dog, you don't got no charge. We can't tighten them no more. You know, I'm just like, have they really tested these? You know, and did the test. So what happens, you know, if it runs out of battery? Can you take it off when you tear them up because the laces is tight and you're trying to get the shoe off? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that issues will pop up with these shoes. And what really scares me is what if your shoes catch on fire? What if there is a battery a battery recall for your Nike shoe or your La Dula candle? It's a battery recall. See, that's what I'm saying. These everything should not be a smart device. Your tennis shoes should have the latest technology in them but it should be all about comfort you know and what materials you're using so that your feet breathe and all that you do not need a battery in your shoe you do not need your shoe counting how far you walked and you know how many miles you travel you have apps on your phone you have apps on your wrist you know it's just some things that we do not need people and one of those things we do not need is all these smart devices. Now, Lenovo is coming out with a smart running shoe. And that's what I'm saying. It does all this thing about how many miles, uh, the pressure you're putting down on your feet. I mean, it's just, you know, that's stuff that athletes need. I can see them making this stuff for athletes to better their performance. But hey, my name is Mr. Nor 14. I wear a size 14 shoe. I don't need all that information. As long as my phone app or my fitness watch does all that other stuff, I'm cool. I don't need two and three hundred dollar shoes to tell me how fast I'm walking. So I want you guys to think about that. Are we going a little bit too far with smart devices when we make a candle? that can light up through a small uh, phone app or is that just great technology is that just the future you know are we really getting lazy will it get to a point where we don't even have to leave our homes we will have a computer avatar to go and get the groceries that look better than us that sound better than us you, you know that movie i'm talking about that was really really bad but anyway 
I just want to know. Let me know. This is no.